Okay, so now that we have Rust running, right, and we can see here our uh, control for our running Steam Deck. We then go to just the discovery, discovery store, easier. And from here, we then just do a quick search for sync thing. And you have a choice, uh, especially it's a GTK one. <coughs> so wait for it to take the download first. Yeah, my Wi-Fi channel loaded low because I'm somewhere very far from my router. Okay, that's good. Once that's done, you can just double click it and do the launch. Maybe we can do the actual sell for it. So from here, the first run wizard uh, shows you where all the bugs will be. So we just go next. And then the saying that the actual daemon is in this one, the path of the daemon. And uh, you can enable some uh, save. Uh, of course, if you're going to use this outside your own network, you can do that. I think we can we can try that. Uh, we can add a new password to set up a little bit later, maybe when we do have time. And then we just click next. And basically, that's it, right? And it's now starting up. And then from here, I just close this one. You can see that these are all the uh, how it is running, right? And then we just go to from here, and then you can open the UI settings, or the web interface if you want. And then let's go to the UI settings first. This is the actual web interface you can get. Uh, you can enable that, but not right not for the moment. It's best from here. It's asking you to make changes to adding a username and password. So we'll do that later on. You can actually. <coughs> And then from here, you can add a folder that you want to do the actual syncing, right? So for example, we can use add a folder and then look for path for using net or a little bit. Okay, so <clears throat> we want to add the uh, location folder that we want to sync with so from here for the path this will, this is what we need to replace and we need to look for the path that we want so in this case we want to uh, get the full path saved for the emulator right and then from here we just copy that and then save that and this should automatically sync once we have set it up so for the moment we just close this and then we uh, we want to be able to because right now what sync thing does is it automatically starts and stops uh whenever we boot from the uh desktop mode but we want to be able to do that in the game mode as well so you want to have run it as a service by default on the system and in order to do that we need to be able to uh access the we want to make a service for it so just a minute where it is console first All right and in order to do that we can create a file so that where it is so let's try to create the file that we want first so let's see let's name it as sync thing like this that service Sorry, then we don't have that. Let's do this. Right, service all this. So, right, and then from here we can then paste the contents of the. Uh, we have it running already. So we just close it. Uh, text pack. Trying to 
but for the one that I already created, just close this cover. Close this off and save as well. There we go. That already was able to create one here. So this is what we're actually be doing. What this does is basically just indicate that we we run and restart the uh, syncing service automatically. So we just copy and paste that. And from here, we just save. So press Control O and then saying to for write service and we just say yes. And that's it. So 12 lines and then exit Control X. So from here, we then have to enable it to auto start. Okay, great. So now once we have created the file, so we can just go to the location first so we are in home deck so let's go there first home and then to the deck so this is the one that we created sync to service make sure you have a show hidden file so you, you can see where sometimes there will be hidden files but we will need to place it on the config folder so we just have to copy that first so we can just got it actually and then go to config and then from here Look for it, system D. This one. And then the user. And then we just paste it here. So here. So that's what we have. So as you see from here, we have a couple of things already, like there's a theme scanner service running. Then so now we want to be able to make sure that same thing, that service that we have created will then auto start when booting into game mode. So from then we go back to our console commands and then we will have to enter uh, uh, we have to use a systemctl command to add it. So we have to start with this systemctl then dash dash the user because that's the user that we have right then we then enable it then we we use the name, the one that we created, sync, sorry, sync, sorry, sync thing. Sync thing. Sorry. So we use capital, let's use capital for that. Sync thing. So it, it from here, you can see create a sim link and found that sync thing service that we have created. And now that it's added on the uh, list of to be run automatically, we just have to enable it. Make sure that it does run. So we do the same thing: system ctl dash dash user, and then we do start. And let's add it again: sync. So by, the, by default, this should now be running. Even if we go to, um, even if we go to game mode. So let's see for it. Okay. So now let's do the the Windows side of 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 the uh, keyboard. Let's so let's go back to our browser, and then just download. Go to SyncThing.net and from there go to Downloads and we just use download the, we use the 64-bit as always for Intel AMD. Should let it run. Okay, it should save that. Go to the folder. Let me set up. Let me set it up first. Same thing. Okay. 
Okay, sorry, I did make a quick mistake there. I downloaded the uh, portable one, the base one. So we want to do the full installation one, the easier one. So it goes to here, and then just download for all users. So we go to the GitHub page. Just download the latest one. Okay, and press done. Executed and done. Press run and run. Then switch view. Install for all users. Show you, I can update my view. Okay, this is what we have right now. Press next. Sure, paste that the same thing. Folder, same setup, same port setup, 12704, that's fine, just use the local listeners and the same port and then we start and let it run and then we can then open it and click go back to our base page Okay, so once it's installed, uh, we can just go back to the go to the path 12704.php.84. See, from here we can say indicate that this is the one that we're running. Sure, keep that running, and you can have your password sync here if you want. So now this is our device, and then we can then start make sure that the sync is properly running. So that we have now both running, one uh, Steam Deck and one uh, Windows PC. So what we need to do is from our Steam Deck, from Windows PC, sorry, let's go back, go to my browser, and then we go to Actions, and then Show ID, copy this thing, close it, then we add it to our Steam Deck. So we open back, we go back to our Steam Deck setup. Update our view. So from the Steam Deck, all we just need to do is add the remote device. It should then detect the ones that we want. I think if we do just paste it, right? So this is the one that we have. And then just we can name it, and this is our Dijon 5 PC. Okay, so now that we then prompt that, we can add a little bit later what folders we want to create. So we want to share the uh, the one that we created for our save files. We can do the encryption for that one. It should be it, and then we just click save, and there should be a prompt then on the other end in our Brave browser. So let me go back to the browser. Okay, so from here we just says add device. Then go to Steam Deck, then saying showing the folder that we have. So okay, we press save. So it's saying it wants to share this new folder. Sure, we add that folder. And then the thing is from here we we need to indicate which path is it we want to add it from. So if we have like a a so that's the one we want to link. So for example, I already have copied the path that I want to be placed on from my end. So this would be this. Paste that and then save. So anything that is then added on the other one. So saying should we create the file that we need? So press OK. 
so it looks like we are having a problem creating the file so double check that okay so see when we what we did was we had an error so because we found out that in order for it to properly work you need to have it running as a not running as an admin basically so wait what we need to do the same thing again we add the mode device so we go back here action show id copy this id again we add it same thing again in our users region 5 is equal to 4 if we go back from here we can see the pop-up that this index is asking for it so it says add device right we name it as steam deck and we need a save from here we then enable the folder we want to sync on the Steam Deck side, and it should pop up as before. We say we want to add that, and then we put in the path that we want. So for my side, it's this one. So I add path, I save, and up. So you see from here now, the the actual error is gone. Now all my saves from all them is being sent. And this is how it works. So whenever time you do pop in and then load it, then all these all your saves will then be synced from one to another. And that's how you see this. Hey, we didn't encounter a bug. Well, not a bug, but some uh, a user error on our end. So that's it.